This video is all about how to find the trading signals for the Connors RSI pullback trading system that is described in the PDF report called Introduction to Connors RSI and that is published by tradingmarkets.com. Uh, I'm in the Edge Club software program and in the Edge Club software program is everything you need to find the, the signals for any variation, any of the over 1000 variations of the, those strategies. And this video is about how to do that. So first of all, when you run Edge Club, you'll see the list of templates on the right hand side. You can select Connor's RSI pullback trading. And within there, there is two templates. There's signals template and trade simulation template. I'm going to select the signals template. And then I'm just simply going to select the symbol list that I want to run against. Once I have the symbol list selected, I can make sure it's up to date. And so the data I have in here is two years of data up until February the 1st, 2013. That is the end of day data. So this has been updated end of day as of that date. Then all I have to do is hit the run button on the report and it will go and churn through those stocks and give the signals for, and I have in here configured six variations of the strategy, but um, you can choose any of the variations, any of those over 1,000 variations, nearly 1,500 variations. And uh, if you want to know which variations uh, to use based on how they've performed over a historical period of time, then you would run the trade simulation strategy template and choose from there. And you'll find a video in this playlist that talks about how to do that. So once I've run the template, I then have very simply a list of limit orders to place for the following day. Um, there are 13 stocks that have buy next day limit orders. It tells you what the limit order price is based on the strategy that's being used. If I wanted to, I could sort this list by Connors RSI value. So I can now see which of these stocks have the lowest Connors RSI value. And you know, in terms of Connors RSI, the oscillator would be the most oversold of, of stocks in that list. Not all of the oversold ones are triggering a buy next day limit because there are other criteria that go along with the strategies too. And there's also a column for historical volatility and I can sort by volatility and get the list of, uh, of low volatile stocks. And if I click again, it will do a reverse sort and give me the, the, the most volatile stock. If I just select the first strategy in here and, and select the header, I'm going to see all of the signals, as I said before, but if we want to see a chart as well, what I can do is double click on one of those cells and I have my chart hidden underneath here. And when you double click on a cell, it will bring up the chart in a separate window. And then once you scroll through by using the down arrow on the keyboard, you can just take a look at every one of these uh, charts to see if it is something that you are interested in trading. On the chart, there are various layouts. Um, there's pre-configured some layouts that correspond to the strategies that are the default strategies. And to choose the layout, you can open the layouts tab and select the layout corresponding to the strategy that you're viewing. And then you'll see uh, there's the chart in the main area. Then there's something called the system in one of the sub areas. And the system will show a one if that variation of the strategy is uh, in, in a, currently in a trade and below that, there's actually the Connors RSI indicator. And so all of these, you'll see the Connors RSI value is low because um, it, lo it is low values of Connors RSI, which trigger a trade, along with some other criteria too. Okay, so running this template is something I might do every night. But then during the day, um, I might want to run the template on intraday data to see if the limit order has been hit. And the way I would do that is uh, it is actually currently in the middle of the trading day right now. So I'm just going to open up the symbol list uh, section again and you see there's a button here for intraday update. And if I press this button we'll get current spot prices from Yahoo and it will tell us now that um, we have data to uh, February the 4th which is today and the time that the data was last updated and then if I hit run we'll get the signals for today. and what you'll see here is that HTSI, which previously had triggered a buy limit, you'll see now that uh, it's turned green and the limit price was actually hit today. So if you had set the limit order in for today, it would have been hit. Um, on some of these other strategies, then 
it's not quite hit but it's it's indicating that if the stock closes today at this same price that t tonight there will be a next day limit order to uh, to enter uh, some of these other strategies have uh, are trigger triggering a close if the stock was to close where it is right now then a close signal would be generated and if you run this right before the market closes and it indicates close then you can close that position and enter at the close of the day otherwise you might want to enter uh, a position to exit that trade tomorrow morning at the open so that's how to get the signals it's very simple to do using end of day data you can run that very quickly in the evening and then when markets open during the day you can run the template again you'll be able to see if your limit order prices have been hit and whether there are any any trades to place tomorrow at a limit order price and if you need to close any of the trades that are currently open so thanks for watching